Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Karu and welcome back to this new video for the Fortnite Week 5 Challenges. And in this one, I will be helping you guys out with the challenge which is gonna say Surgeon Queen, a basement fill camera, a snowy stone head, and a flashy gold big rig. So once I'm done showcasing the location, I will be helping you guys out with your other Fortnite Week 5 Challenges. So make sure you watch this video till the end, because by the end of this video, you will be done with all your Week 5 Challenges. So if you guys are new over here, Please go ahead and hit that big red button which says subscribe and turn on the notification bell because every time whenever there's going to be a new Fortnite challenge, I will be helping you guys out with them. So don't miss out on the videos. And also if you find this video helpful and if you want to see more videos like this one, please go ahead and drop a like on this video as that would be highly, highly appreciated. And if you want to support me even further, you can use my supporter creator code in the item shop which is going to be G-A-T-T-U. It is a new code so thanks to everyone who is using my new code. So with that being said, let's get into the video because the challenge is going to say search between a basement fill camera, a snowy stone head and a flashy gold big rig. So if you want to complete this challenge, all you got to do is go in a solo game and then go at this exact place where I'm dropping in right now. As you guys can see from the gameplay, this is going to be the place where you guys can actually find the basement fill camera and this is going to be the place where you can find the snowy stone head. And last but not least, this is going to be the flashy gold big rig which is going to be next to the tilted town. So when you combine all of these three hints together, this is going to be the exact place where you can find the battle star for yourself. So as you guys can see from the gameplay, this is going to be the exact minimap location. So I want you guys to pinpoint over here. And as you can see over here, this is going to be the place where the battle star is actually going to spawn. So I want you guys to come over here and get this for yourself. If you did find it, please go ahead and drop a like and hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on because I'll be helping you guys out with your other Fortnite week by challenges right now. So right now, the next challenge that you guys will be unlocking is going to be consumed fruit mushrooms are glitched forged items now if you want to complete this challenge i'd say the best place for you to complete this is going to be at the old soccer stadium because over there we have ourselves the new rift zone where we can actually find ourselves a lot of glitch forged items but also if you don't want to complete that challenge over there the next best place that i can suggest to you guys is to go and drop at lazy lagoon because over there we can find a ton of bananas and also if you destroy those palm trees they actually give a lot of coconuts so i want you guys to go over there and even in some of those houses you guys can find a ton of bananas and we only got to go ahead and consume 10 of them so go ahead and consume them and you will be done with this challenge now the next challenge that is going to get unlocked is going to be claim vending machines in different matches and we got to go ahead and claim three of them so i'm going to give you guys the best locations where no one drops and where there is a really high chance of a vending machine so i want you guys to drop at these locations and complete the challenge for yourself because as the challenge says that we got to claim those vending machines in different matches so once you claim them in a single game and if you go ahead and claim like two others in that exact game it is not going to count so this challenge is going to take you three different games to complete. So these are going to be all the locations for the vending machines that we have in Season 10. I made this map for myself and I think this map will actually help you guys a lot as well because these are going to be all the official spawns for the vending machines. So wherever the battle bus is not going from, you guys can go in a really far distance in that exact vending machine spawn. And you guys can just drop in over there and claim that vending machine. And I'd suggest you guys to do this in a Team Rumble game especially if you're in a hurry so you can just claim the vending machine and then go inside a new game again and then claim it again and again and you'll be done with this challenge now the next challenge which i think is kind of tough for everyone which is going to be land in dusty depot then visit the meet here in a single match now if we have to actually go ahead and climb this meet here it is actually going to be a super super tough challenge because it does say in the challenge that we actually got to go ahead and visit the meet here so if you guys want to complete this challenge, the best tip that I can give you guys is to go ahead in a Team Rumble game. Because just in case, if you drop a Dust Depot and go below the Meteor, and if it doesn't count, then that means you actually got to climb up on top of that Meteor. And if you try to do this in a normal game, then it is actually going to be a little bit tough. Because people might actually make you go down and you will get a ton of fall damage. And that is not going to work out. So in Team Rumble, we do have Glider Reploy. So this is going to be the best way and the easiest way to complete this challenge. I want you to go ahead and invite some friends and make a really good lobby. Maybe like invite like three of them, four of them, or maybe even more than five of them. Because in Team Rumble, we can have a bigger lobby. So once you do that, I want you guys to go in a Team Rumble game and then get all the mats from the factories. And then go ahead and make a ramp and then glide down at Dusty Depot so that it will actually count as landing at Dusty Depot. And once you're done with that, I want you guys to go ahead and use use all the mats that you guys had and go all the way on top of that meteor because in team rumble no one's gonna eliminate you and if you have a lot of friends with you and everyone is making a really strong structure it is actually gonna work out so 
this is gonna be the best tip that I can give you guys to complete this challenge. It's a really tough challenge, I'm not gonna lie, but if you're looking for some friends or if you just wanna hang out, you guys can join my personal Discord, which is gonna be in the description, so you guys can just join in over there and then add some new friends and complete this challenge with them. Moving over to the next challenge, we got ourselves harvest materials at the block and we gotta go ahead and harvest 300 materials, so it's not that much of a tough challenge, so just go ahead and drop at the block. The block keeps on changing every week, but I don't think this is gonna be much tough of a problem because at the block we get a ton of mats so you guys can actually complete this challenge in one single game. If you're new to this game then the block will be located kind of at the edge of the map next to Jung Junction so you guys can just drop over there and complete this challenge. Moving over to the next one we got ourselves an interesting one because I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know about this because it says over here land at a rundown hero mansion and an abandoned villain hideout. Now, this hero mansion could be located next to this place, which is going to be located right over here. So you guys can just visit over here and complete your challenge. And this is going to be the exact place. So you guys can just follow the gameplay or you guys can just follow the replay file, which is going on in the background. So once you have dropped over here, the next location that you guys actually got to drop is going to be at the abandoned villain hideout. Now, this place will be located next to Snobby Shores, as you guys can see from the gameplay. Which is going over here, so you guys can just drop over here and complete this challenge and you will be done with this thing. Moving on to the next challenge, we got ourselves an interesting one because I think a lot of people have a little bit of confusion about this. It says over here, deal damage while being affected by low gravity and we gotta go ahead and deal 250 damage. Now the things where we can actually witness the low gravity is actually gonna be with the hop rocks and the place where we have the zero point oscillator at loot lake. So I want you guys to just drop over there. And then deal 250 damage and you will be done with this challenge. And right now I'm going to tell you guys all the challenges for the prestige mission that we have after completing these normal challenges. So as soon as you are done completing all these 7 challenges, the first challenge that you can actually unlock is going to be eliminations at Dusty Deep Hero or the Meteor. So we got to go ahead and get 3 eliminations so that's not much of a big deal. You guys can easily complete this challenge. The next challenge we got is going to be search chest or ammo boxes at the block. Now the block keeps on changing and there's like a lot of, you know, ammo boxes and chests all over the place. So you can just drop at the block and complete this challenge for yourself by opening a total of 7 ammo boxes or 7 chests. Moving over to the next challenge, it says over here, search chests at an abandoned hero mansion or the villain layer. Now I've shown you guys the location for the hero mansion or the villain layer. So we gotta go ahead and open 7 chests and it might take you a little bit of games to actually complete this challenge because... We gotta open 7 chests and in those places we don't have a lot of chests so you can just go over there in multiple different games and it doesn't say that you gotta drop at a hero mansion specifically or you can also drop at the villain layer. So if the battle bus is super far from the villain layer, I'd suggest you to drop over there and if the battle bus is super far from the hero mansion then I'd suggest you guys to drop over there because a lot of people won't be dropping over there at that place. Now the next challenge which is gonna be deal damage with explosive weapons which can be done by dealing 500 damage so that is not much of a big deal. You guys can go ahead and get some grenades or maybe a rocket launcher. Or maybe you can go ahead and get a proximity launcher or maybe you can get yourself a grenade launcher. The best game mode that I can suggest to you guys is to do this in Team Rumble. Because over there a lot of supply jobs have rocket launchers and everything. Moving over to the next one. We got ourselves consumed fruit mushrooms or glitched forged items in a single match. And we got to go ahead and consume 8 of them. So the best place that I can suggest to you guys is again going to be at Lazy Lagoon. Because over there we can find a ton of bananas and a ton of coconuts. So if you hit those palm trees there's going to be a really high chance that they actually drop 2 of them. So if you hit those palm trees on its own, you guys will be done with this challenge in one single game. Moving over to the next challenge, which is going to be Harvest Materials at the Block or Dusty Depot in a single match. Now this one is again going to be a super easy one because we only got to go ahead and get 300 mats. It's going to be a super easy one and I suggest you guys to drop at the block because over there we got a ton of mats and everything. And that place is super OP, especially if you want to collect mats. But if you guys want to drop at Dusty Depot, so be it. But if I were to choose a spot, then I'd definitely choose the block and complete that challenge over there. Now, last but not the least, we got ourselves a really, really tough one. Which is going to be surge between a road tree phone, a fork knife, and a hilltop house full of carbide and a mega poster. Now, if you guys want to get this battle stuff for yourself, this will be located at this exact place where I'm showing you guys. So, you guys can just drop over here and get this battle shot for yourself. If this video helps you out, please go ahead and drop a like on this video and share this video with your friends if you guys wanna see more videos like this one where I help you guys out with all your week five challenges. So yeah, 
If this video helped you out, please share this video with your friends and also subscribe if you haven't already because I will be doing them every single week. So make sure you tune in on the channel and also I do live streams so make sure you tune in on them as well. Well, my name is Garu and if you need help with your other Fortnite challenges then make sure that you go ahead and check out this video which is showing up on the screen right now and that is definitely going to help you out with your Fortnite challenges. So till then, goodbye and take care.